<laughs> We're trying to sum up the Army of Darkness cavalcade you just saw here. Um, years ago, I used to work for a company called Anchor Bay Entertainment. And one of the things we used to do was bring out Army of Darkness on DVD over and over and over again. Uh, the conversation would go something like this. Hey, uh, we're not going to make our year this year. Really? No, we're not? No. Uh, what do we do to make our year? Can we reissue Army of Darkness? <laughs> yes. What do you want to call it? The Boomstick Edition? Sure. And then we bring it out and we make our year. And uh, I often suggested that we should just come up with one called Army of Darkness, the Corporate Greed Edition. <laughs> that didn't go over very well. But, you know, it was, I, I, for me, it's just like, let's just do this and be honest with it. So when the opportunity came up to revisit Army of Darkness for Screen Factory, uh, they asked me to do as much as I possibly could. And it was, a, it was a real honor to be able to really tackle it with a full-on documentary. And we got an amazing amount of participation from the cast and the crew. And it was a real pleasure to really document this properly. Because prior to that, there had only been a couple of featurettes. And we got everybody, all the makeup effects people, all the crew members, a lot of the actors, almost every actor. And Bruce Campbell was the first one to sign up. And I really owe him a big, big thanks for not just this, but for all of the participation he's given me over the years. When he, I mean, I got him two days before he was about to head off to film the second season of the show. And it was like he could have been doing any, a number of other things, including resting up but he's agreed to do like a 90 minute interview for me. And I really appreciate that. And I want to also thank Screen Factory, Jeff Nelson and Cliff McMillan who worked tirelessly to get everything together for this, including all the artwork, all the extra features that are on the two disc set. Uh, they will be getting best restoration and best DVD. I'll let them fight it out for which one they get to keep. Um, but I uh, really owe them a lot because they, they lost a lot of sleep a few years off their lives and uh, to put this together and it was really a, a Herculean team effort. And for myself, my editor Andrew Cash, who had approximately three weeks to put this whole thing together and I just pretty much would just dump all this footage on him and say, here's 21 interviews, uh, here's eight hours of behind the scenes footage and 400 photos. Best of luck to you. And he came back with an amazing documentary. Uh, Jim Coons, who photographed most of the stuff including all of the other, uh, we, we've shot all over the world for this. We shot in England, Australia. It was a, really an amazing uh, effort just from an enormous amount of people. However, I really want to say that the person who deserves the lion's share of the thanks for this documentary getting together, who had to suffer through most of the phone calls, emails, and all the BS that comes with producing something like this was my producer, Heather Buckley, and I want her to say a few words right now because she's really the hero of this whole thing. About a year ago, it was a long ride back from Horror Hound, and I was with Mike. Told him about some of the feature film work uh, that I uh, did as shop supervisor. And he asked me, it's like, hey, Heather, do you mind being my producer? Do you want to work on the Lionsgate Saw thing? And I remember telling him, it's like, God, I've never really done this before, but I'll do it for a week, and you tell me if I'm doing a good job. And, uh, I've, and Mike says, hell yeah, you are. And I, I've, I've been on here uh, ever since helping out. I have a background as a journalist, so the idea of finding all the, the talent and the creative people and telling their stories and make sure that this is a record of how these movies are made. You know, movie, movies are so important to our dreams and helping us understand themselves. So it's always an honor talking to these people on the phone, setting up their shoots, getting their stories for everyone because it means so much to them. And again, your amazing crew working with Jim in the UK, uh, Rosalita working in uh, uh, Australia was. Uh, Tony Egan, Private Island Audio is always wonderful doing our commentary. So I thank you guys so much for this. And a, and a special thanks to David and everyone who voted for us in the Rondo. I really do appreciate it. And I've changed my mind. I'm not sending these to shout. I'm just going to steal them. So uh, if anyone's recording this, please do not post that online because I don't want any proof of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say they got lost in shipping, so, and I just, cause I'm just gonna walk around like this for the rest of the day, just like, what the hell, I don't care. So thank you guys very much. For you.